Howdy folks, welcome back to Tahitian County. It's the 1st of October and we're ready to get some corn in the silos. The fields are all ready. I've got some hired help here in the truck. Ready to go. And uh, yeah, let's hop in. The frame rate might be a little different on this video. I'm not sure if it'll come through. My uh, main monitor is on the fritz. I have a 144 hertz gaming monitor and it's kind of acting up. So I have to run it at 60 hertz. So that affects the uh, FSR and the frame generation and all that good stuff. So it might look a little choppy. We'll see. It feels a little choppier here on my end. So we got everything greased and ready to rock and roll. So let's hop in here. I think I'll start over here and kind of make a pass. Maybe just back and forth here. We'll see. Let's just cut in here and we'll see how we get along. And I'm going to bail the stalks even though we don't get much out of here. Get a, get a little something. Yeah, let's actually try this from the cab. Go full immersion mode. <laughs> A little bit of stutter there. The mirrors really cause a lot of stutter. And quite get lined up. So we can get that nose pointed right down the row. Sort of lines up. There we go. I would think, I've never ran a harvester of any description in real life. I would think for a corn, at least, you would want to, you'd have to go down the rows, right? So it would cut and process everything appropriately. I know in farm sim it doesn't matter. But it actually, it doesn't look like the rows, do they really line up with the, the header? I guess they kind, yeah, not really. Sort of, kind of, but not really. So, I guess it doesn't matter too much. Kind of making a mess of this. Missed a little bit of a short row. I was trying to get in. I'm used to a bigger header. Alright, so I want that row right there in the middle. And when they all start wiggling around, it's kind of hard to follow the rows. Trying to kind of stay on that row. Yeah, we got some corn cut. I guess that's all that matters. <laughs> So yeah, if you're if you're a a farmer with some experience cutting this, let me know. I did, do you have to follow the rows? It seems like you would just so they'd go into the header correctly, but I don't really know. But this is farm sim, so we'll cheat. I think I will go ahead and just make a headland pass all the way around. It's a little steep right in here, but I think we can make it. So this might be a good spot to just cut the field. Um, let's see. So if we do... Yeah, Control-Alt-W. There we go. That detects the width. Now our width should be correct. We've got plenty of hopper space, so let's just cut down through the field here. We'll kind of divide and conquer. I'm 
going to make this pass, and I'm going to try to get it lined up. Yeah, it just, it just uh, the spacing just isn't right, fortunately. I'm just going to try to get it lined up. So we've got the extra room down here. So I can do this without taking out a bunch of fence. This thing drives like a race car. <laughs> it does not drive like a big heavy combine. So I have to kind of try to drive it slow. So if we... If I line up these right here... Yeah, I guess it, it kind of... It kind of lines up. We want the middle to be about there. Yeah, there we go. I think it's lined up now. So if we go this way, I know we're going uphill. Probably should have went across ways. We get some longer runs without having to do all the turning. We should have enough power. With this small head, this combine does just fine. Yeah, I need to swing. I need to swing pretty wide to get lined back up, so I, I messed that up big time. world's worst farmer here. Just wants to go, yeah, wants to go about six miles an hour, so let it go six. And we're going to be full here shortly, so that helper should be headed our way. Are we going to make it to the end of the row? I think we might just squeak through. Yep, there we go. Let all that stock process out. If I pull up here, will he find me? Hello? <laughs> uh, yeah, I've got the uh, that's the appropriate thing set up. Oh, here he comes. He might have been taking a nap. It took him a little bit to wake up. Hey, don't drive in my corn, buddy. You're supposed to stay out of the corn that's standing. He's new. We got to cut him a little bit of slack. <laughs> There you go. Let's drive right under there. Hey, whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Where'd you, where are you going? You had it. You were right there. Boy, I tell you what, it's hard to find good help these days. No, not into the corn. Oh, man. That's all my beautiful corn. Somehow he didn't knock any over. What are you doing there, son? You gonna stop this time? Stop. <sighs> Alright, let me get this sorted out. I'll be back. Alright, well, I went, and, went ahead and sent him home. <laughs> Uh, we'll just have the truck parked down here out of the way for now. I might just have to do it myself. Last season, we had some people that kind of knew how to drive a truck. Seems like we might not be so lucky this time around. Not into the fence.
All right, off we go. Yeah, it looks like we're pretty much following that center row. Center row should be right in the middle, because that's where the gap is. I think we're doing all right. A nice clear day. We've got some nice weather for it, at least. A few clouds here and there. thing, uh, for no bigger a combine than it is, it has a really large turning radius. Probably one of the first upgrades we'll do will be a new combine. So we're making pretty decent money off the crops, so that's good. Had plenty of starting capital to get the cattle going. And the chickens are doing well. We've got almost a whole pallet full of eggs. So once we get a whole pallet full, we'll be selling those. Need to look around and see who wants eggs. I think there might be a restaurant, maybe a bakery down in town. Should have taken another uh, headland row off this end. A little hard to get started. Alrighty, let me run through here. I'm going to get this truck full and uh, we'll go empty that out. There we go. That is nearly a load. It looks like the truck's rolling downhill. That's never a good sign. <laughs> Let's see how full this thing is. 86%. I think that's full enough. Let's head on down to the corn dryer. Uh oh. Come on, truck. Switching up to third because it's in automatic mode. There we go. <laughs> I was about ready to take it out of take it out of automatic mode. Finally sorted itself out. Twenty ought to be fast enough coming through the yard here. So it's it's nearly a load. It's kind of slow going with that little tiny uh, corn header. Nobody coming, so let's just keep our momentum going here. It's not a super powerful truck, but it gets the job done. Just coasting now. Whee! All right, let's get those bad brakes to working. Some grass I need to get cleaned up there. And we should have plenty of propane left from last year, so this should start should start processing, I believe. I do wish the corn dryer had sound effects. Anybody that's ever been around a silo with a dryer on it knows what I mean. <laughs> you feel it in your soul. All right, there we go. Let's just go double check here in the production tab. Oh, I need to activate it every time, I guess. Yeah, we got lots of propane. There we go. We're drying some corn. 
So now we just need more of the same. Can I get turned around here? Not quite. Looks like the neighbor got his corn in. I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to go turn you back on and we're going to try it again. Just happened to be tabable to the next vehicle and it was the combine. And off we go again. So there's a whole lot of corn in my future. But I think that'll be it for this video. We're going to keep on harvesting and I'm going to keep the animals fed. And we'll see how we do. I was just thinking while I was harvesting here, I might see if I could rake these corn stalks up into a bigger windrow just, just to make the baling a little easier. So I'll see what they got for rakes. But anyway, thanks as always for watching, folks. And I'll catch you in the next adventure. Take care.